it out and you're tuning to Crown by Corey. Make sure y'all check my girl out. All right, you guys, today I'm gonna show you how I got this really cool look. It's very simple, light makeup, light outfit. So let's get right into it. First, I started by priming my face with Max Hydrant Cream. I think that's what it's called. I'll have it linked below. Um, my skin is super dry, so I just needed something very, very, very moisturizing. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color brown. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brown Pencil. So I just kind of like start in the middle of my eyebrow and then fill in the back and then go in the front and kind of like draw upward to make it a little bit more natural. Same brow routine I've been doing forever. Same product, it's great. It has the same consistency as actual eyebrow hair so it doesn't look too harsh or too faint. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go under that and clean it up and conceal it with another one of my favorites, um, the MAC Studio Finish Concealer Duo Palette. It just comes with two of them, the NC45 and the NW45. You guys will see me using that for the rest of my life it is life. I didn't do any foundation today because I was just kind of chilling and I just it's too hot for all that honestly like I can't. So I went ahead and blended that out and then I'm taking that same duo cream. Today I'm using the NW no the NC45 and just put a little bit under my eyes because my eyes are huge and the bags are real. Ignore Kyra running across the screen. So yeah, I just patted that out with a beauty blender. Very, very light, not a lot. Then I'm gonna set it with the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And I do the middle of my nose because that gets oily. So um, yeah, I wanna keep it dry. And then I put some on my lip and under on my um, chin because when I put on lipstick and I put like um, highlighter on there, I don't know, it just works better after it's been set with powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that bake and flat iron my hair while I'm doing that. As you guys can see, I'm rocking the Kim K Vibes Bob. I'm so into Bob's this summer. They are extremely adorable on people with like skinny face frames or like long peanut heads like me <laughs> so yeah you probably will see me rocking this style all summer all summer 17 so yeah i'm just like combing it out fixing my brows a little bit because sometimes those brows start looking too boxy and i take my beauty blender and just dab it out and then i take my brow brush and just brush it out to make it look more natural then I'm going to contour with Blunt by MAC. Not doing a cream contour, just a little bit of powder just to chisel my face a little bit. This hair style is blunt, so your face gotta be blunt too. Can't be looking all crazy. Just adding a little bit of blush. I'll have all the products I use linked below because I can't remember what that was. And then for the highlight, I'm using one of my favorite Urban Decay highlighters. It's called um, Lit. It's perfect highlighter when you're not wearing a lot of makeup because it's very light, but you can still see it and it's buildable. And a little highlight to those shoulders, you know, because I'm gonna have the shoulders out. <laughs> I always put highlight like on my shoulders and my chest if I'm wearing shirts that reveal them. So then I'm just lining my lips with cork, one of my favorite liners. This liner literally matches my flesh. I hate when girls wear a really crazy liner. And I'm wearing top, my favorite lippy. No, lies, I'm wearing Velvet Teddy. That's really my favorite lippy. I wear this lip so much, it's crazy. I need to buy another one. And that's the final look. Kim K vibes, very natural and light. My overall look was casual, but I wanted to add a little sex appeal, so I got this silk button-up shirt in a larger size than I normally would wear, and I kind of like draped it over my shoulder and then added some really cute chokers and necklaces just to make it pop a little. 
Um, I thought it was extremely important for me to have some tight jeans to show off my curves because my shirt was oversized. So I just went with some jeans from H&M that were slim fit, like hip hugger style. And then for the shoe, I am wearing a Gucci Mule. I've been obsessed with these since they came out last fall. And I think the look was pretty casual, chic, but like super sexy. I loved it. It was so cute. The bob matched it perfect because my hair kind of like flung over my shoulder. And I was styling, y'all. But <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next time.